contestants compete for the ultimate title of Canada's top pharmacist. Their task? Demonstrate their take on effective patient care. This is going to be a piece of all you gotta do is hit the common points like typing and filling, and you're all set. 5, 10, 15, 20. Seriously? What was that? She missed all the important things. Oh, uh, so, um, how do I take this? Just eat it. I mean, come on, we do so much more. So let's see if Esther did any better. This new flu vaccination has a needle that is 10 times smaller than the previous one. But it'd still be a bit of a pinch. Younger women often don't realize that they don't get enough calcium to maintain their bone health. Here's a calcium supplement for you to try out. Thank you. I really like what she did there. I noticed that this new drug you've been prescribed interacts with your hypertension medication. I spoke with your doctor and we've agreed to switch you to a safer alternative. But did you see her speed at counting? She was like five full seconds slower. You know, I think Esther was really good. I don't know, Cindy was pretty darn fast at everything. Counting, chasing down patients. That's true, but you gotta understand that the profession is changing. I see Esther's way of staying on top. She was all about patient-centered care, all about empowering her patients, and less so about the technicalities. That's what a pharmacist is all about. I think I handled the task pretty well. Cindy put up a good fight too, though. But you know what? It's the 21st century. Pharmacists have become the friendly neighborhood health and wellness advisor. We've expanded our scope, and we're ready for it.